In this video, we're going to check out a very new and very free effect plugin here in iOS. It's the DL01 Simple Delay. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now we've seen delay plugins before. We've even seen free delay plugins for iPhone and iPad. So what is it that sets the DL01 apart from all the rest? Well, for me, the reason I think it's super cool is that it combines a very simple interface with some super powerful features. Let's take a quick look at these now and then we'll dive in and I'll show you some examples in more detail. So like most delays, we can just dial in a time-based delay here in milliseconds. But the cool thing is we have both the left and the right. We can control those independently or we can hit the link button and they will link together. So you'll have the same on both the left and the right. We can also hit the ping pong button and that's going to bounce that sound around. A ping pong delay is super cool. We'll show you how that works later. We can also then switch these up by syncing it to our DAW. So now they'll actually be in 1 16th notes, 2, 3, 4 you can line those up with your sound. So some cool options here right out of the box. But it doesn't end there. We also have our feedback knob here so we can decide how much delay we want, how many repeats we're going to get in there, a freeze button, which does some pretty funky stuff I'll show you later in the video, and a dry, wet knob. This is important because we can dial in 100% wet if we want just the effect, or we can just add it to taste by using our dry, wet knob. As you can see, simple interface, but what you're about to see is just how powerful and how cool this can be in your projects that I'm going to demonstrate here in GarageBand. So let's jump in and put this to the test. Now I'm going to test this on three main instruments, my vocals, my guitar, and a synth instrument. But if you hang around to the end, I'll give you a little bonus one by throwing it on the drums because delay can actually work really well on your drum kit. Now there's timestamps down in the description if you want to jump around to each particular track, but let's get started now with some vocals. So here we are in the GarageBand project for the song that I'm working on at the moment. I've soloed my lead vocals. It sounds like this. Hesitation and fear of change. So it's pretty dry. It's pretty boring at the moment. I think we can spice this up and we're going to do that with the DL01. We're going to go to our mixer icon, plugins and EQ, hit the edit button and then hit the plus. Now you can put it here at the start of your chain or at the end. You can experiment. I tend to put delay closer to the end. So we'll use this final slot here. We'll tap audio unit extensions and then DL01 and we'll just uh, hit the edit button and slide it up so that our EQ is our last one and hit done. So there you go. We've got the compressor. Some overdrive and now the delay on here so to go to our delay settings we hit the button here and there is our delay now if we just play it straight away with 100 milliseconds 50 percent feedback and 50 percent dry wet it's probably not going to sound great let's just give it a test Hesitation. And fear of change. Yeah, not exactly great. Not what we're going for in this track. A little bit too much going on there. So the first thing that I'll do here is work out how many milliseconds of delay we want. So there's a few different ways you can do this. You could have a really long delay. We'll tap the link button actually there and we'll link the left and right channels here first. So if we wanted a really long, like, you know, thousand millisecond, that's basically a second delay. Uh, we hit the play here. <laughs> Have paralyzed, have paralyzed you, have paralyzed you. So it's going to delay back over, over and over again. Just while we have that long delay, the feedback here, this is how many times, like how long that tail of, uh, of delay is going to be. So if we drop this down and we hit play on this next line. I made you doubt I made your, you doubt your So it's going to start trailing off. You can hear tailing away. If we put this right, right down here, we'll just have the littlest hint of this. So we'll come back and we'll hit play. I made you doubt, I made you doubt yourself. So you can hear there, you're only really hearing that first repeat. Whereas if we bring it all the way around, you're going to hear it repeating and repeating and repeating. And the freeze button will kind of do that infinitely. We'll show you that a bit later. Dry and wet is just how much we want in here. So even with a lot of this in here, a bit more feedback and the long delay, if we wanted this more of an effect, we bring it down to like the 10% mark and then we'll play that again. Made you doubt yourself. So you can hear there that it's going to be a little bit more subtle. And even if we just dial this in, uh, this would sound okay in with our track with the rest of the instruments. Hesitation, fear of change. 
You could just hear that little tiny bit of a tail on there. But we want to dial this in to make it extra cool. So we'll come back in here and what we're going to do is I'm going to dial in what's basically a slap back delay. So if you start around that 100 milliseconds or even go a little bit lower, maybe around about the 60 to 70 millisecond, you're going to get a slap back delay. Now turn the feedback and the dry wet up so you can hear what this sounds like and then we'll dial it back in to make it sound cool in the mix. So this is what it sounds like. Have paralyzed you. I made you doubt yourself. So you're getting that little bit of thickness in there as well. And don't forget, if we don't want to link this, we could actually make it a little bit more on one side than the other. And then you get a kind of cool effect like this. You can hear it's really thickening up that vocal. So let's go with that. We'll bring the dry wet down a bit because we don't want that much in there. So we'll bring it back into our track like that. And then if we play these all together, we'll come back into our plugin so we can tweak it as we play. So let's come back to the start here and play this again. I made you doubt Of new ideas can make a difference to you and those. So you can hear there how we can thicken up these vocals. Now, this is just the beginning. As you can see, simple interface, powerful options. We've only touched a couple of the things here. Let's dive in now and check out another instrument and see what else the DLO1 can do. Let's jump into a guitar now and an electric lead guitar to be specific because that's where delay can really come into its own. So we'll solo this. This is our little lead guitar part that comes into the second verse of this song. It sounds like this. So not bad, we've got that nice tone, we're using Tone Bridge on this one and one of our uh, Pearl Jam presets, I believe. So what we can do though is of course, we can once again go to the edit button, grab an empty slot, grab the audio unit extension DLO1 and then start dialing it on in. So this time, what I thought we would do is play around with a different type by actually syncing it with our track. So if we hit either of these sync buttons, well, if we, we link them, what would you want to do? Uh, now they're both actually synced up. So this is going to be a 16th note delay, 2 16th down to 4 16th, which is of course our quarter note. Yes, you have to do a little bit of mathematics here, but your 4 16th is your quarter note delay. And that's what I tend to like to start with when I'm looking at something like a guitar lead part or a guitar solo part. So let's dial this in now with no other changes, our default feedback, our default dry wet, and see what this guitar is going to sound like. So not bad, yeah, you can hear the idea right, but way too much on the feedback and the dry and the wet. So all we need to do is lower that feedback. I still want quite a bit of a tail, so we'll go about 40%, but we definitely need this to only be about 20% wet. Let's just come back to the start of this little guitar riff and see what that sounds like. I think we could probably even go a bit more feedback to give this more of a spacey kind of sound, but leave this dry wet down a little bit. Let's just try this one here. And can you hear there that it's do, 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 do? It's right on the quarter note beat. If we put our metronome back on, you'll hear it right in time with the beat. And that's what's cool about the sync option here. Let's play it now. So you've got that na 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 on the guitar. And if we bring this one, I might need to add the volume up a little bit. When you add a plugin like this, sometimes you need to tweak your volume up a bit because the wet signal does remove a little bit of that original dry signal. And that means you may lose a bit of volume. So let's bring this now as we come in into our second verse. Let's see what this delay plugin on our lead guitar has done to this track. Open up your Cool, right? Just get that spacey feeling. And again, we can play around with some of the other options in here. 
We could put the ping pong on here. We could change up. We could unsync these and change it up. So, well, sorry, we could unlink them. So we will leave them synced. We could change it up so you could have one at a, say, a two sixteenths and one at four sixteenths and then get a sort of funky feel. Let's just play that and I'll show you what I mean here. You can do something like this. Hear how we're getting different lengths of delays on the left and the right channel? How cool is that? Lots of functionality again in such a simple interface. I can't say enough good things about this, but I'm going to say more because let's dive in and take a look at this on a synth instrument here in GarageBand. Now this is clearly a rock track, but don't be fooled. Rock tracks can benefit from having some synth sound. Just ask Muse or The Killers or any number of very cool rock bands. So here we have this particular synth. I'm using the evolving colors from the synth instrument library here in GarageBand. Let's take a listen to just this synth sound. Turn it up so you can hear it. Pretty cool, yeah? Like a nice sort of evolving, exactly as it says, evolving colors. So it's a very cool synth sound, but we want to make this even cooler. And yes, we're going to use our friend, the delay, the DL01 delay plugin. We'll come in here. We know how to do this now. Audio unit DL01. Tap on the icon there, or the not quite icon, and now we can start playing around with this. Now, I haven't touched the ping pong delay, and you probably want to learn what the ping pong delay does. So let's ping pong this particular synth here. So what we'll do... Uh, we'll sync it. So I'm going to use this. This time, why don't we do it uh, to a half note? So we'll bring it all the way around here to 8 sixteenths. We'll link it. So both of them on the left and the right are 8 sixteenths. Now, if we play this without the ping pong on, you'll just hear a pretty familiar thing. It'll sound like this. Again, every second beat, duh, put the metronome back on so you can hear it. Cool, yeah? So that's adding to our synth sound. But what if we want it to be cooler? Well, guess what? We can use the ping pong delay, which is going to send it to the left and the right. So every time we hear it, it's going to bounce back and forth. Hence the name ping pong delay. So let's come back to the start of this one. Uh, where is the start? of that one. There it is. I was in the right spot anyway. We'll come back in here. Now let's play this with our ping pong delay and see what it sounds like. It goes like this. How cool is that? You get that little bit of sound all over the place. So I'll probably dial these back a little bit on our dry, wet and our feedback and hit the done button. Let's uh, bring this back in. I'll turn it up so you can hear it in the mix. This won't be this loud in the mix, but just so that you can hear what it sounds like and we'll bring it back into our full mix. So this really helps with a couple of things. It helps with giving a bit of variety and a bit of flavor and adding some stereo width. When you have some things bouncing in the left and the right channel and you've got your, your guitars, your vocals, your drums up the middle, it just adds a little bit to those outer edges of your track. So another way that we can use the DL01. Now I've touched everything here except this freeze button. So let's just quickly show you what the freeze does. It's not something I'm going to use a lot, but you might as well know what it does. So again, we solo the track. Let's come in here to the DL01. I'll hit play, and then let's just uh, play around. We'll turn on this freeze, and you'll hear exactly what it does. So if we play this one. There's our freeze button. Turn it off. So yeah, not something that you'd use that would be very useful and more of a real-time effect as opposed to something you would add to a track like this in GarageBand. But because I'm sure many of you would want to know what it did, I thought I would show you what it does. It basically just holds and freezes and repeats that one bit of delay when you hit the freeze button. So not the most useful feature, but it's there if you want to play with it. Okay, I promised you a fourth and final bonus tip here. And yes, it's going to be our drums. So let's come in here and solo these drums. Shout out to my friend Jade Star who played the drums for this track. Let's come to a, a bit where we got some drums going on here. If we play them at the moment, they sound like this.
already very cool drum sounds. The virtual drums here in GarageBand actually sound pretty darn good. I know some people are critical of the virtual drums. I think that they sound pretty cool. Let's see what the delay plugin can do to our drums, shall we? So we'll come down here, we'll add it, we'll go DLO1, and then we'll tap on it. So what you can get with a with a delay sound on drums is that that big room sound. Yeah, you can use reverb too, and you'd probably use a combination of the two. But let's get a nice uh, drum sound in here. So we might use the sync here again, and we'll link them together. And let's go this time, yeah, back to a quarter note delay here. We'll uh, make sure that the feedback's all big to get that big room sound, and we'll drop the dry wet down a little bit. Righty dokey, let's hit play on tape and see what these drums sound like with this random dialed in sound. Right, too much feedback, yeah? Too much feedback. And what I might even do is bring this right on back. So we'll go back here to uh, 2 16th here to get a bit of more sort of sound. We'll also drop the dry wet down. Now we've got this sort of sound. So if you combine that with just some standard reverb that you might want to put in here, so if we just throw some like nice bit of track reverb on here, you can instantly get yourself a bit of a cool big room, drum room kind of sound, something like this. Now, of course, I'm exaggerating it so that you can really hear the effect. You know, always, not, not always, you generally not put that much on there, but even if we just put a little taste of it on here like this, Dial it up to taste. Again, you can just hear that that kind of stadium feel that you can get in your drum kit. So there you go. Bonus tip. You can even use delay on your drum tracks. So what do you think? I think these are pretty cool. Let's just take one last look. So we've got the vocal there. I've got my lead guitar here and this synth sound. I've just soloed these three. So let's play them together so we can take one final listen at what the cool effects you can get with the DL01 really are. And there's a new beginning. Ready if you want it. All you gotta do is open up your mind. There you have it. I think this is perhaps one of the coolest plugins and definitely my favorite of the new plugins that I've checked out. And did I tell you that it's 100% free? Zero euros, zero great British pounds, zero dollar bucks. Check it out. There's links down below as well as links to other free plugins that you can use in your GarageBand and other iOS projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.